All right, as uh, the next part of this, I gotta vacuum the system out. Got this fifteen dollar uh, vacuum, pneumatic vacuum from Harbor Freight. Also, this little kit here from Harbor Freight, about fifty bucks for that. And here's what's inside. We got our hoses, some instruction kits, more instructions, these adapters. So I'm going to go uh, do a little reading and get this going. Okay, this is what I'm doing, the evacuation recovery. So I'm doing the evacuation. This is the instructions. I've went ahead and followed these instructions. There's the vac pump. I have a little scuba tank set up as a compressor. Uh, my little custom deal there, but uh, I'll probably use a compressor later because I don't want to waste all my air. Um... Got these hooked over here. There's a nice feature on this. I don't know if it's on all of them or not, but if you don't have it closed, it won't let you snap it on there. But that was nice. Um, so I got how those are hooked up. These are all hooked up. And closed. So we'll get, get started. All right. So as you can see, I am pulling a vacuum using this device right here. Like I said from Harbor Freight. Running from running from an air compressor. Over to here. Both of these are open. And see, this one is also pulling a negative, negative, and these are open here. So, what I'm doing to keep the vacuum is I'm actually just going to shut these off. And that'll hold the vacuum that I have in there. Now I'm on to the part where I'm charging the system. And they say that you shake the can well. And you do this, rotating between 12 and 3 o'clock. And uh, I can already feel the can is most of the way empty. So I'm going to try and let it empty out the rest of the way. I'm going to do one more can. That'll put me at 24 ounces. Supposedly, a total of 27. I don't have a good way of measuring that. So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put two cans in and then see where I'm at. Okay, I've got two cans in, and this is what I'm looking at. I don't hear it cycling on and off a lot, so that makes me think it's maybe still a little low. Um, not 100% sure. That 42 number looks good. I've seen that before. I'm going to shut it off and see where it goes to. This is uh, somewhat typical. I think uh, when you turn off the AC compressor, they start to equalize. So uh, that's what we're seeing. And they should probably equalize here in a little bit. So the compressor is doing something. It is making the high side high. So I'm going to go ahead and go and uh, turn the compressor back on and watch it creep down again. Okay, as soon as I turn it back on, it jumped down. Seems like that's where it wants to be, right about there. I'm going to have to go look up the numbers. Just noticed something. Is that normal? 